instructors this education session is on how to bring more magic into your class. Watching and learning from it will help you deliver better fitness experiences for your members, help you improve your performance skills, and give you greater feelings of success each and every time you teach. As instructors, we create experiences for others through the performances that we give. We shouldn't be afraid of performance. It isn't about acting. Acting is just a type of performance, just like dance and just like live music. But a live performance is so different from a recorded one. Acting is just that, acting. But being is something very different. Participants want their classes delivered in an authentic way, in keeping with the style of the programme. Not superficial, patronising or unnatural. In other words, be true to yourself. Performance must come from inside you. It's not something we put on or add over the top. It's what comes out from the inside when we're real and true. To be or not to be, said Shakespeare. To do is to be, said Socrates. Do be do be do, said Frank Sinatra. The power of great performances is in the emotions they inspire within us. The magic they bring to our lives. For example, how do you feel when Leonardo DiCaprio's character died in Titanic? When Johnny Depp's character, Jack Sparrow, comes into port on a sinking boat. Or when the bride battles the crazy 88s in Kill Bill. Wah! Or like when the couple come together at the end of Love Actually. It's the experiences that make us feel that we remember. And it's these experiences that we're drawn back to time and time again. Does this mean that we have to perform all the time? Absolutely not, because this may actually get in the way of what people enjoy most about class. A lot of instructors that we see around the world struggle with this, which isn't surprising. It's really hard to be powerful and focused every time we teach. You may be having a bad day, you may be waiting for some news, or you're just not feeling it. It's hard to switch it on as soon as you get on stage. So how can you get into a space of power and comfort every time you teach? Here's a really simple technique that we found useful to practice before class, especially if you're in the wrong headspace. First, find a quiet place. It may be difficult, but try and find one. And then, centre your thoughts, centre your breathing, and focus. Work yourself up to a maximum performance. So what I like to do is get into the choreography room and put some music on and turn it up really loud. And I'll just start dancing around and I'll start getting myself charged up and I really get into the feeling and the emotion. And then when I get on stage in class, I'm just ready to go off and it's awesome. Attention. Narrow your focus to maximize your performance. So what's that? Block out anything external. Switch off your phone, shut down the computer, turn the TV off. Empty your mind, think of nothing. Then focus on thoughts that purely concentrate on your technique. This should leave you prepared, calm, focused. It's like you can't fail. Imagery. Mentally visualize yourself performing the class. Think of yourself only in pictures. You could also try thinking of someone you admire as an instructor and imagine yourself teaching the class just like them. Positive self-efficacy means really believe in yourself, that you're going to produce a fantastic class, have the confidence that, that it's going to be successful, that everyone that comes into that room for that particular moment are going to have a great workout, enjoy the musical experience and feel really connected to you. I would suggest these techniques to any instructor. Take note of your headspace or your mood before the exercise, during and then again after and maybe again next time you're teaching. Do this in the next few classes you teach and watch how your focus changes. We'll focus on some more advanced techniques in the next session, but in the meantime, enjoy yourself, keep it real, and deliver magic.